about the importance of having a really quick routine that you can repeat every morning and night to take care of your um, appearance and particularly with your makeup. So in this video I'm going to show you really quickly what I do to take off my makeup at night and what I use to condition it and then what I um, use for makeup in the morning for my really quick routine for every day. Um, I'll also show you at the end what I would add if I want to take a little bit more time with my makeup and um, get a little more prettied up for like a special event or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so it's really important to take your makeup off at night. Um, I've heard a statistic that you actually will um, age several years uh, faster if you don't remove your makeup every night. Now I don't do it every night, there's some nights that I'm just way too tired, but I've really simplified the process to make it um, less daunting and more agreeable to do with brushing my teeth and stuff like that. I used to use makeup removers um, and couldn't quite find one that I found fast enough to really make it a daily routine. So um, I fell in love with uh, microfiber cloths and when I discovered those um, I kind of didn't look back. So microfiber cloths are uh, basically have really tight fibers and they can clean your face without anything but water. So I basically use these cloths. This is a Norwex brand um, and that's probably the best brand out there. I don't know of any others specifically that are this high quality um, but you can buy these through someone who sells them. And so this is the body cloth. They also have a face cloth if you want something a little gentler, but this is gentle enough for me. Um, so what I do is I just get it wet and then I splash my face with water at night um, to get everything you know nice and wet and loosened up. Um, and then I use the, the microfiber cloth. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. microfiber cloths. It's pretty cool. Um, then I use plain shea butter to lotion, um, to uh, moisturize my face uh, before bed. So you can get uh, plain shea butter on Amazon and I can link to this one. But it's amazing for your skin. All the properties are incredible and it's a lot cheaper than those expensive night creams and I promise it will do probably just as good a job as those night creams. So I just take some. It comes, um, it kind of hardens so you have to take some and then put it between your hands and then just warm it up like that. And then go ahead and apply it all over your face, even on your lips. And that's it. Now I'm ready for bed. So as you can see, it was two steps. I splash water on my face and use my microfiber cloth to remove the makeup and then I put shea butter on. So with those two steps, it's simple enough that I can't really um, have an excuse for not doing that every night if possible. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you um, what I do for my quick makeup routine in the morning. Okay, so in the morning, a lot of the shea butter, which is pretty greasy when you put it on at night, has absorbed into your skin, um, and so there's not a lot of greasiness, but just the natural grease and stuff is what you wanna wash off. So I just splash my face with water and then um, pat dry it, and then we apply some moisturizer for the day. Okay, so now I've washed my face and patted dry, um, and now I'm gonna moisturize my face for uh, before makeup. So it's important to have your face really nicely moisturized. Uh, it, it will keep your makeup looking nice uh, without the cracks kind of that might appear, the wrinkles. Um, and yeah, it's just good for your the health of your skin. So I use nothing very expensive. I just use Utterly Smooth right now. Um, I might use something late, you know, different in the future. I'm not really stuck on this other than it's inexpensive and it's more natural than a lot of other lotions and it does it is not greasy. So once you put it on, it absorbs nicely. Um, so I'll go ahead and apply that real quickly and then we'll do the next step. Okay, so then um, I apply my makeup. So this is what I do pretty much every morning. Um, and I keep it down to three to five minutes because um, otherwise I'm going to be discouraged from doing this on a daily basis and we want to make this doable as moms. So um, basically the products that I use right now are foundation all over my, over my whole face, some concealer under the eyes and around the eyes to lighten them. And then I use uh, mascara. 
I use um, a uh, eyeshadow to darken and line my eyebrows. And um, I also use, and then I also use a um, blush to finish it off. So those are the um, four or five products that I use is really simple. So um, first of all, your foundation. Now that could be for you if you have a really good complexion, you might just use like a BB cream or you could use um, a really good moisturizer plus face powder. I use this um, Tarte Medium Coverage Amazonian Clay, or actually it's Full Coverage Amazonian Clay Foundation. I really like it. Um, it's probably the most expensive piece of makeup that I have and I feel like I'm willing to spend on this because it goes all over my face and really gets absorbed into it. So I wanted something that was natural and worked really well. All right, so I'll go ahead and apply this all over my face. Oh, and I just use my fingers to blend everything because I don't want to have to wash brushes afterwards. Um, but as you can see, I'm not a makeup artist. I just do the minimum to get myself put together. So now that's all, that's all blended in. Um, I also take concealer. Um, I have pretty, um, I have dark circles under my eyes, just uh, that they're not too bad today. Um, but I use a concealer to remove some of the dark marks next to my eyes that just make me look tired. And so um, this is also Tarte, and it's their Shape Tape, probably one of the most most popular products that Tarte um, sells. So it's very thick, and I only need a couple of dabs. So I put a couple of dabs here and here, and that pretty much does the trick. When putting on your um, concealer or anything under your eyes, you want to try to, uh, when you rub, do very gently, and for the most part, tap it in to blend it, because that skin is very sensitive and you want to stretch it out. Okay, and next I will um, do my eyebrows. And um, I just basically use eyeshadow. I have this um, amazing called uh, palette, eyeshadow palette from Maybelline, the Nudes, and I've used it for a long time. Um, so I, I go ahead and use the dark brown, and I use um, one of these brushes. So I guess I do use a brush, <laughs> um, but it's just an angled, um, really inexpensive brush. And I grab some of the um, dark brown, or you could do, I could do black too, but I feel like a, I don't want it to be super dark just for the daily look. And then I very lightly just um, fill in so that it's more distinct. Um, I used to not do this and it's made a huge difference in kind of the overall framing of the face. Okay, and then next, um, almost, almost to the end, um, I just apply mascara and I pretty much just do my top lashes um, uh, and then I'll add a little bit of eyeshadow um, in the second part. I show you if if I make it more complex for nicer events. Um, but just I just do pretty much uh, mascara on the top lashes. Thing, um, which, by the way, when I do my eyebrows, sometimes I do uh, put in a little bit on the corner here just to define the corner of the eye. Since I already have it on, it's really fast to add that. But I keep it pretty light to just make it look like natural. Okay, and then finally I add my blush. I just use CoverGirl. That's simple. And then I do have a blender. So hey, I guess I do use brushes. <laughs> So I'll take some of the powder and it's pretty loose. Um, I don't want it to be too pink. So then I just take my hand and blend it out. Then I smile and put it on the balls of my cheeks. And I just take my hands and I blend it. Okay, and the final thing that I might do um, is put a little bit of a moisturizer on my lips. Sometimes I use straight shea butter because I love um, how much it stays on your lips versus coconut oil or something like that. Um, I don't use regular chapsticks because of the wax and I've learned 
um, through lip sense that it can build up and actually make your lips more dry. So I use something straight up like Shea Butter, um, or I'll use um, a lip sense color gloss for every day. Um, and then if I'm if I'm going to be going out or something or I want more color, then I will do an actual lip sense color. Um, but I am just going to do this Bougainvillea lip sense um, lip gloss for now. Okay, and as you can see, um, that's pretty simple. So, um, of course, I'm talking right now, so it took a lot longer, but uh, I usually can get this done in three to five minutes. Um, so it's really easy to do even while the kids are having breakfast. I just use the mirror by the door um, uh, when I'm just running short on time. So just find something simple to do uh, for, your, for your skin type. You might not need um, all of the foundation. Um, kind of figure out what, if you look at your face without any makeup on, what are some things that you can smooth over, some blotchiness, um, and then develop your, you know, three or four products that you're going to do every day um, and then get used to that, doing them quickly. So that is my quick three to five minute daily makeup routine. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you um, what I add for eyeshadow if I am wanting to look a little bit nicer. So um, I will usually go a little bit thicker on the foundation um, and just to give it a little bit more of that polished look because right now I, I keep it pretty natural looking. Um, and so I'll go thicker on this foundation and then um, what I'll do and everything else is the same pretty much. Um, but what I'll, what I'll add is some um, highlighting of the, I guess contouring is kind of what it's called. Um, I do a little bit of contouring. So um, I will add uh, some light color here um, and then on the cheekbone. Um, and then I might do, you know, bronzer on, on the ends here, um, but pretty much I guess I can demonstrate that for you if you like, but I don't always do that. Okay, so I just use this um, light eyeshadow. It's like a pearly um, cream color. This one is Mary Kay from a very long time ago. Um, so I'll just take some of that on my finger, and then you want to go on the brow bone. And then if you're going to be putting um, eyeshadow all over the eye, and I'll usually do this before I put on the mascara. Then just go ahead and spread that all over. Do it on the other side. And this is just nice because it defines, you know, it catches the light and it defines those sharper features on our face. Okay, and then I also put it on the cheekbone here. So right on there. Okay, and this one you want to blend it. And this just like makes you your face kind of sparkle. So if you can find something that has a little bit of um, glitter in it, that's perfect. Okay, um, and then for the eyeshadow, again I use this palette and I'm a summer color season so I might be transitioning, um, I bought this before I knew that, I might be transitioning to cooler colors but I really like these, they're really beautiful and so that's what I use. So I use a um, light color on the bottom right here, it's one of the lighter ones. It's like a taupe, which is also good for summer people, so. Um, and then I put that just on the lid. You just mainly want to make sure not to go beyond the line here because then it darkens your eye, unless you're doing a smoky eye, but I'm doing something super simple right now. And again, I just use my fingers, so nothing sophisticated. I'm no makeup artist, but it works. Okay, and then I choose one of the darker ones, so I might do a gold or one of that's darker here. Um, since I have gold earrings on, I'll just do some of the gold. So I'll take some of this, and then I'm going to more carefully put it just on um, the outer half of the lid. So you want to concentrate on making it dark on the corner and then come in. You don't want to start from the center out. You want to start from out in like that. And then concentrate on making it dark on the corner. Okay, and that's pretty much that. So I just like how it looks, you know, sophisticated. There's a little more going on. I might add a little bit um, of the dark on 
the corners here. And you can also use an eyeliner. I just am using eyeshadow to keep it simple. Okay, and then um, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it. But um, I might also do a little bit of contouring if I really want to spice it up. So to do that, um, I would basically use my bronzer. Okay, this is just a CoverGirl bronzer. And um, so take some of that. And I don't do a lot of contouring because I haven't practiced all the kinds you can do. But contouring basically helps bring out the features um, that are prominent on, that you want your face to show. So um, you'd go for this, you wanna go under the bone, you need to find your bone, and then you wanna do under it here. There's that, and then sometimes I will do up here. Okay, that's all I do for contouring. But it does add a little bit where it makes your cheekbone um, look uh, sharper because it's dark underneath. Um, and then plus when you add that shimmer on the corner, it looks really nice. So that's for my um, really nice makeup that I do. And that only adds, you know, two to three more minutes. So um, yeah, that is about it. That is my whole routine. So hopefully that was helpful. And I would love to hear in the comments if you have, um, you know, maybe a different skin type or a different routine. Just list, you know, here are the four things I do, which order, and that would be fun. So um, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.